to my channel. My name is Glory from Glorious Glow Empowerment. It's so good to have you here once again. Today, I will be talking about believing in yourself. Do you believe in yourself? Do you? Do you actually? If you do, thumbs up. If you don't, why don't you believe in yourself? You know, it's impossible to enjoy life to the full if you don't believe in yourself. You will be living life in half measures and you definitely do not want that. That's why I'm here to encourage you today to start believing in yourself if you haven't done so already, if you haven't started already or if you don't believe in yourself already. I'm sure you know this saying that says, love your neighbor as yourself why do you think that is because it's not possible to love your neighbor if you don't love yourself so loving yourself means you believe in yourself you believe in what you can do you believe in your efforts you believe in you know you and you love you there are certain things that makes it impossible to believe in yourself when you are filled with guilt condemnation, self-doubt, rejection, you know, and if you have inferiority complex, you know, you feel someone else is better and you constantly compare yourself with others, that would stop you, that would hinder you from actually living to your fullest potential. Those are killers of joy, you know, they steal your joy. So instead of comparing yourself to someone else, why don't you try to improve on yourself? Improve on the areas you feel are, are your weaknesses or the areas you feel you still need to get better at. So improve on yourself. Stop comparing yourself to others. All right. You may have strengths that I do not have and I may have strengths that you do not have. So we complement each other. That's what life is about. Don't compare. Don't look at others. Focus on you. Because the energy you used to be looking at others would have been used to enhance and make yourself better. You see? Also, have a good understanding of God's love. His unconditional love. When you are grounded in that knowledge and you know that God loves you unconditionally, you will begin to love yourself. And it makes it possible for you to walk in the purpose for which you were created for. Having that knowledge, that foundation that God loves you, irrespective of your flaws, he knows you. He made you. That's a springboard, okay, for which you can begin to thrive. And just walk in your calling, walk in your purpose and launch yourself into your destiny. Okay, so tip number one, don't compare yourself to others. Accept yourself, love yourself, believe in yourself, have a great understanding of God's love. Okay, and that's the main thing you need to do. If you don't have any of these already, you can start today. Okay, take one step at a time. Rome wasn't built in a day, was it? So you can start by acknowledging the areas where you need to improve on. Understand those areas and begin to make a plan on how to accomplish or get over those limitations. So those of you who know, I coach women. I'm an empowerment coach. I help them get over the limitations they have in their head. Limitations stopping them from getting over and becoming who they've been created to be. So we have a conference coming up in July. It's coming up on the 11th of July. It will be nice to see you all there. It's going to be online because of COVID-19. So it's an online conference with lots of like-minded women coming together to sharpen one another. Okay, I will be dropping the link after this video ends. Do click on it, get your tickets because to come on to the conference, you need to get a ticket. 
get your tickets and it will be great to see you see you all there start believing in yourself if you don't already till i come your way again take care stay blessed and stay safe my name is glory and my life is to glorify god god bless you bye mm -hmm.